Hi, we're up in the Elkhart Lake area, and Erin was kind enough to invite us to her establishment, the Amazing Grace Equine Sanctuary. Hi Erin, good to Hi, see Craig. you. Hi Craig. Tell us about your establishment here and what your mission is. Our mission here is generally to take in horses that do not have homes for one reason or another. Um, either a mom or dad lost their job, they can't afford the board, or daughter no longer is interested in horse. Um, horses that uh, people are unable to sell because of the economy. Um, they, it, it is an alternative for them uh, rather than uh, accept uh, a few hundred dollars from a meat buyer, uh, which generally is their last, uh, last alternative. So there's a whole variety of reasons there's, why horses are correct. surrendered. And then your ultimate goal is to find them new homes? Right. Or what exactly? right, we try to find homes whenever we can. If a horse is viable, and um, usable as far as riding or trail riding. Um, those are much easier to place uh, in adoptive homes. And what's the process? Do they have to apply? Or? Yeah, we, uh, on our website we have applications that you can download, complete, uh, and return along with photos um, of the, uh, the stable or the home where the horse is going to be kept. The applications uh, consist of uh, who is your farrier, um, who, we need references, how, how long have you um, had horses or, or have knowledge of horses, um, what is your background. Uh, we, we try to do as thorough a background check as we can. Just to make sure they're placed in a permanent, right, right, because, wonderful home. Because these horses, um, they, you know, the, to me they're like children. They have, they're taken out of a place that they're familiar with from their regular homes. And, and we need to be able to put them in a secure place for the rest of their life um, so they can fulfill their purpose. This is all new to me. What, what are the parameters of an organization like this? Is there a certain amount of horses or certain criteria for a horse to be surrendered? or what, How does it work? Um, well, we do have very limited space here. We've only got 20 acres, some of which is uh, under a lake. So we have to um, try to create a balance. Um, we have 13 horses right now, which is pretty much our maximum. When they start messing with each other, ears back, then we know we got too many in, a, in an area. Sure. Um, the parameters, uh, we try not to um, have any hard, fast rules regarding surrenders. We try to make it equal, uh, whether the horse is rideable or not, but we have to maintain two to three adoptables Okay. that are viable in order to fund the ones that can't be adopted for whatever reason or are, are going to take six or twelve months to be adopted because of their special reasons. I know there's a lot of work involved. How do you maintain your operations? It is a, a group effort. There is um, absolutely no way that I could be doing this by myself. We have a variety of volunteers um, that come all different days of the week, all different times. Uh, we probably have a base of maybe six to ten regular volunteers. What about supplies? I mean, I know they require feed, hay. Uh, yeah. Is that donated? Or? So some of it is donated from time to time. Um, I'll get a call with someone. I I've got a hundred bales of hay. Could you use it? Sure, bring it over. Um, we do cut some of our own hay. Uh, that helps. Um, uh, generally, we, pr for the most part, we, we buy most of our hay. Um, which is all from donated funds. We, we, um, we rely on the community uh, for, all of our, for all of our feed and bedding and supplies, sure. and fly spray and yeah. yeah. Well, you do a wonderful job here. It's a lot of yeah. work and keep it up. Thank you so much.